With another loss, a pendant holding their family members' ashes is missing. Fox's Molly McBride joins us live from Sunset Park, where the family last saw it and are still looking for it. Well, that pendant holding those ashes was last seen here. The family says they believe it was at the Renaissance Festival held here at the park just over a week ago. I met them here as they looked. They talked to me about their loved one and how badly they want to get this back. With every step, this family is hopeful they're one step closer to finding this silver dragonfly pendant. I am hopeful. I know that there's still good in the world. It's what's inside that pendant they want back so badly. Amy Beattie's little sister, Laura, passed away unexpectedly four weeks ago. There's always been a dragonfly thing between the two of us. This pendant holds some of her ashes. So my little sister. Not anybody else's, just mine. She gave this pendant to her stepdaughter, Aero Gianola. She tells me the two had a special connection. She was always there for me, and I always felt like I could talk to her. And these last two weeks have been tough. I can't seem to express it, express how much I hate that she's gone, how much sadness I feel that I never even got to say goodbye only getting tougher when the pendant slipped off Gianola's neck just over a week ago. Her necklace was always there and I could fiddle with it and play with it and remember her words, encouragement and love. But she's hopeful it will find its way back to her, but she knows there are a lot of places it could be. The only thing giving her any peace of mind, noticing dragonflies in the park the day it was lost. I got a call from my mom that night and said, hey, even if you don't find her, she probably chose that place for a reason. And she probably wanted her final resting place to be there. Now the family did file a report at the festival about a missing item. They haven't heard back yet. At this point, they say they're hoping that somebody just picked it up and is searching for its rightful owner. For now, reporting live at Sunset Park, Molly McBride, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.